Hi Leo, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you for so, so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Ton of stuff there, so please do go check that out. Thank you so much. And a quick shout out to all those who have um, subscribed to the channel. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, such as in a tip or donation to the channel, is greatly appreciated. So all your support really means a lot to me. Supporting the channel to help it grow and flourish and get the messages out to the people that need to hear them is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Leo, I'm a Leo, so let's see what we get here. And I, our birthday just went by, so let's see what we have for Leo. Almost done summer. Hope everybody's doing well. And this can be any kind of connection with anybody you have in mind at this time. So no specific connection. So any type of love connection with anybody you have in mind. See what we get with the Zodiac deck. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. Rest of the reading may be for you. If you clicked on it, something in the title resonated for you, so there's probably something in here for you. Okay, for Leo Spirit, please. First half of September. All right, I'm feeling this one. Venus, so that is the planet of love. And I do believe that is um, Libra and Taurus, I believe. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra or Taurus. If not, that is just about love and relationships and feelings and emotions. That is the planet of love. So definitely love is around you in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's you just feeling it or it's a new connection or whatever we have here. Definitely about love. And Venus is 16, which is 7. 7 is a very divinely guided number. All right. So let's get an overall love energy. Okay, for you for the first half of September. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you may be ascending to some sort of higher level of commitment, whether you're actually getting engaged or engagement can be like a date or meeting up for coffee or just something to that effect. All right, so let's see Leo. Leo, Leo, what is going on with you? Let's get one card for you, how you are feeling about your person and the connection. Then we'll get one for your person, whoever you have in mind, how they may be feeling towards you and the connection. So one card for Leo. How is Leo feeling about their person and about this connection at this time for the first half of September? Okay, so I think I'm going to take those two. So you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So you definitely want to have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with this person, telling them how you feel hoping they'll tell you how they feel and they have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to a uh, fun to shine. So, uh, I don't know if they just want to be playful as in like a player, like come in and out and have some fun and that's it. Or they just want to be, they don't want it to be so serious right away. Uh, just want to have it like light and playful, like maybe just kind of get to know one another, date a little bit and not be too serious right away. But with engagement there, I feel like um, maybe you haven't even gone on a date with this person yet or even met up for coffee or anything like that. I'm feeling like, um, or maybe you have, I don't know. We'll see, what, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Make the effort, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So the Romance Angels are saying here, that this relationship or this connection, if the effort is, is put in, it could be a great love here. And it is a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Wow. 
So definite soulmate energy here, needing to make the effort, either you or them. Um, you definitely want to have some conversations with this person. You want to know how they're feeling. You want to tell them how you're feeling. And they want to be kind of light and playful. So I don't know. We'll see what kind of energy that is. All right, so let's clarify. Tarot here. Let's clarify with the tarot. But I do see soulmate energy here. All right, so for Leo, heart to heart conversations. Let's clarify that for Leo. It's too many. We clarify for Leo. Clarify for Leo. Ooh. So we have the Hermit. So Virgo energy here. So, yep. So <laughs> Hermit energy is kind of like being in solitude, being alone, thinking, reflecting. Maybe you're constantly thinking of this person, wondering what's going on. What is this connection? How do they truly feel? You know, the Hermit is just kind of being on your own. So nobody... I feel like nobody is communicating right now because your back is like to to uh, them. So I feel like, yeah, I definitely feel like there's may not be any communication right now between the two of you and you're wondering what's going on with them. All right, so let's get one for your person. And you may be doing some inner work saying, you know, how do I truly feel about this person? Do I want to put in the effort towards this person? I feel like they're my soulmate. I kind of feel it in my gut. I know. Um, I don't know. So we'll see. Let's get one for your person. Playfulness. What is this playfulness about for Leo's person? First half of September. Six of Wands, wow. So, <laughs> and this is a uh, fire energy. So if they're not um, Libra or Taurus, it could be a fire sign, another fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or whoever this person is, they're definitely thinking about this success and victory they could have with you. Because you are Leo fire here, and that is definitely in their energy. So they are thinking about you, and they're thinking about what kind of success, victory, could lie ahead in this connection with you. Or maybe you're, you could be just being withdrawn from them for some reason and not telling them how you feel. You may want to, or you're thinking about how to, how to come forward to them and tell them. I don't know. So let's get more clarity on this. So we have the Ten of Cups connected to you. Wow, so <laughs> water energy. So you want the uh, total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way uh, with this person. Love and fulfillment in every single way. Joy, happiness, happy home family life. With this person, you want the whole Ten of Cups. And death. So now we have Scorpio energy here. So, hmm. You know, that's about endings. Ending something and then transforming, having a rebirth. Starting fresh, starting new. Uh, starting over. Hmm. So I don't know if they're ending something here or um, maybe they're waiting for you to end something. That's why you're in hermit mode. Maybe you're make, making the effort here to end something and they know that. And that's why you're being kind of reclusive from them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. What is the actual situation for Leo? These energies can be vice versa. If you don't feel like this is you, you feel like this is you and that's them, then you can swap anytime. You swap the energies anytime you see fit. Okay, so let's see what the actual situation now is for Leo. Uh, one, two, and three. Okay. Wow, so we have the Five of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands, there's your energy, and the Seven of Swords. So, wow. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles connected to you, that's Earth energy. So that is um, feeling neglected, lonely, left out in the cold, abandonment of some kind, being secluded. Um, so, yeah, I definitely feel like here you're not 
in um you're not like in union or together with this person i feel like the five of pentacles energy that you've kind of either had to ghost them because of what you're going through or vice versa here but deep down you really want the ten of cups with this person all the ten of cups here is could be ending your ten of cups situation to be with them or vice versa here but you have the seven of swords here so your energy connected to them so that is you know can be about trickery or deceit lies and that sort of thing or it also can be self-deceit huh so i mean they could be deceiving themselves thinking yep i'm gonna have the success and victory with this person even though they're not sure you know how this is going to play out maybe they just keep telling themselves you know um this is going to turn out for the best this is going to turn out for the best I don't know, but connecting the two of you is your energy is the Queen of Wands. So that fiery, passionate, uh, go-getter type of energy. So um, I definitely feel like here this is your energy. And I definitely feel like you're trying to leave a situation here with the Seven of Swords. And maybe you're not really telling them uh, the whole situation with you. So they could be feeling like you're deceiving them in some way because you're not, you're being kind of reclusive towards them, I feel, as you're going through whatever you're going through and ending something here. All right, so let's get more clarity on this. So now we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Six of Swords. So, you know, the Four of Pentacles, you're trying like heck here, Earth Energy, hold on to what you have as you're whatever you're releasing here, you're really trying hard to hold on to what you have, yet you still want to hold on to this connection. You don't want to let them go. You're trying to hold on to your stability, your foundation. And then over here near them, we have the Six of Swords. So, you know, they're wanting to go and move forward with you into this more comfortable, peaceful place, uh, leaving all garbage behind, not serving the connection. And just moving forward you see their crown chakra open here it's like they know that there'll be success and victory here so maybe they know that for now they just have to keep it light and fun and airy with you while you're going through whatever you're going through and you will be traveling forward in a more comfortable peaceful place i feel they definitely want that to transform this relationship to a more peaceful place all right so let's get your advice leo in this situation so we got one one more for leo's advice in this love connection the first half of september first half of september advice for leo so we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Fool. So, so you could be connected to Earth sign right now. It could be Queen, King, doesn't matter. It's just energy. So the Fool here is about taking a leap of faith. This is Aquarius energy. Ta taking a leap of faith, jumping right in, resetting, starting over from zero, trusting everything will be fine, and just jumping right in and taking that leap of faith. So your advice is to take this leap of faith. And this Queen of Pentacles energy just could be you as you're holding on to your stability here with the Four of Pentacles energy. You know, as soon as you're able to be on your own, stable and grounded, secure, independent, can take care of yourself, then you'll be ready to chip, jump in and take this whole new leap of faith with this person. Because we have two queens here. We have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So that could be just both your energy. Or, you know, you could be turning your back on an earth sign to be with a fire sign or a Libra or a Taurus or even a Virgo. All right, so let's get more clarity on that. So we have the Eight of Cups. Exactly, definitely. You're walking away from something here to be with them. Eight of Cups energy is walking away from something unfulfilling walking towards something more fulfilling. 
So I definitely feel like you're leaving. It's all about leaving or returning or leaving and going to something else. Seven of Wands. So fire energy over here on this side. Your energy, Leo Sag Aries. So this person, uh, they definitely want to fight for you. The Seven of Wands is that defiant energy of fighting and not giving up, standing up for what you believe in. So they're willing, willing to fight and go the distance for you. I feel here because they want to go into calmer waters with you and you're leaving and walking away from something here to start over start fresh start new with this person all right so let's see what the possible outcome is here and maybe they already told you you know <laughs> that they want to marry you and you're not even out of whatever situation you're in now <laughs> you know for some of you all right, let's see. What is the possible outcome for Leo and this love connection for the first half of September? Please, for Leo. First half of September, feeling that one. So we have the Nine of Cups. So water energy. So here's wishes and dreams coming true, happiness and joy, fulfillment, dreams being fulfilled. So your dreams and wishes will come true here. Whatever you decide to do, you take a leap of faith with this new person. All your dreams, wish, hopes, desires will come true with this new person. But I feel like you need to leave behind either an earth sign or you could be leaving behind a Virgo or, you know, it could be anybody to be with this person or vice versa. Or they're doing that and you're kind of waiting for them, vice versa here. The sun, so there's your energy, Leo. So there's the happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, growth, expansion, happy home and family life. Everything positive with the sun, so positive outcome there. Dreams coming true. Success, victory. They had success and victory over here. The Knight of Cups, so definitely they want to rush into you here and, and offer love, um, just, you know, hey, can we get together, you know, have a cup of coffee, a drink, something like that, a date, whatever here, express how they feel, love, emotions, feelings, offering of some kind here, of coming together. So the outcome is wish coming true, total happiness and joy and success, and this person coming forward with their love and affections and emotions towards you, or you to them, vice versa. So let's get um, bottom of the deck. Ten of Swords. Yep, I definitely feel like here you're ending ending something here to be with them. Maybe hurtful and painful ending. Air energy here. Page of Cups. So there is the knight coming in with the action of moving forward towards you. And here is the Page of Cups with the love, loving... Um, communication water energy king of pentacles so now so we have the king and queen of pentacles which is divine counterparts now definitely soulmate energy and it doesn't mean you have to be both earth signs it's just when two of the same signs show up that is definitely this person here is a soulmate energy and they could be somebody they could be an earth sign somebody who's very stable sturdy and grounded independent, can take care of themselves. They're very smart, you know, analytical, practical, good with finances, could be a business owner or a boss or something like that. And there's your brand new beginning in love, divinely guided. This is brand new, divinely guided in love. Soulmate energy here with your soulmate. Love, emotions overflowing, love and fulfillment in every way. Yep. Very much more dependable, practical, stable person offering love after you've had an ending or they've had an ending here. Wow. This is also soulmate energy with the sun. All right, Leo. Let's get some extra guidance and advice for you in this love connection. First half of September extra 
guidance and advice for Leo and this love connection. First half of September. Spirit, please. What do we have for Leo? Thank you so much. First half of September. All right. Well, we have obedience. Hmm. Eight and four is 12, which is three, which is usually about uh, teamwork, people working together. Obedience. So maybe, you know, with whatever situation you're in or was in before that you're leaving, maybe you had to be very obedient with that person. <laughs> you know, maybe they were very controlling over you and you just had enough and couldn't take it anymore. Like you had to obey every word they said. Envision, Aphrodite, eight. So there's the action, travel, communication, envision, like seeing things clearly for once and saying, you know, I've had enough of this energy, of this um, very controlling energy. And now seeing a vision for the future with this new person that you know, it's a true divine soulmate for you. Wow. So put that there. Let's see if we can get one more for Leo. First half of, oh, we got two more. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have wishing. So we have vision and wishing. So, you know, wishing here, 19, 10 endings, one new beginning. So it's like you were wishing and hoping for whatever you were in before just to end. It's like you could not take the controlling energy anymore. You know, you had a vision for your future. You wanted someone who was more loving, caring, nurturing, uh, passionate, um, was an equal match to you as we have the King and Queen of Pentacles and wishing and hoping for a better future. Having that faith, hope, optimism of things getting better and then we have a fragment here, which is six. So, you know, this person probably made you feel very, uh, whatever, whoever you were with before, very fragmented. Maybe at times they felt like you felt like they shattered you into a million pieces, either by the things they said, how they controlled you, how they treated you. You, you felt just like a fragment, like you never felt complete, whole, loved for who you were, who you are but you had a vision and you wished and now you're moving on and now you will be with a true soulmate here who will treat you the way you should be treated. All right, so let's see. So there you go, congratulations, success. Nine and three, which is 12, which is three, you know, coming together, working together. So yep, very success in this new connection here. And this is almost like a contract. So this could be very well be a soulmate contract that was written before you even came on this earth with this person that you're coming into uh, contact with. Wow, Leo. Okay, Leo, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe something down there will resonate for you more. I would say disregard the dates. If you see a title that resonates for you, I would say go ahead and watch it. If you do like how I read, um, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. I do ask, though, if you don't like to get all the notifications, that instead of unsubscribing, you just not check the bell. Then you'll have to manually go into your subscription area, find my videos there, and you can watch them from there. So that's an option also. So good luck to you in your situation here, and I hope you um, have happiness and joy, success here with your soulmate. And I'm sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I'll always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.